guys, my name's Lemming. I'm one of the members of Hackerspace Brisbane, otherwise known as HSBNE. I thought I might take you guys on a video tour of our new premises that we've acquired. We've just signed a lease on this one a couple of weeks ago, started moving all our stuff across and started doing all the works to get it up and running. This place is going to be affectionately known as Port Hack because as you can see we are right on the riverside. It's part of the old Portside Security Administration Centre. We've got a lot of cool stuff here which I'll uh, try and give you a glimpse of today. We're still in the process of moving everything and getting the building ready. We've probably got about another month's work before we can actually get everything across here officially. But uh, I'll try and update you guys as things go. Anyway, I'll take you on the tour and hope you enjoy it. storage for members projects so members who want to uh, store their projects and things like that can uh, bring it in here and store them there's about storage for about 40 people in there we have two office offices here uh, as you'll see everything's nicely air conditioned come through here the second office the wall between these offices is probably going to get knocked out we'll turn the whole thing into uh, one big classroom and you come out here back into the hallway and we have uh, executive storage and uh, this will probably be our server room as well because you can already see the ethernet patch panel on the wall. We come back down this way and we have the big window into the games room. So in here you have couches, projector, Xbox, Playstation, things like that. People come in and play games. Nice thing that you know people can see it as they walk straight in the front door. Further down, and we have the real kitchen. Now most of the walls that you'll see in this area are uh, going away. We're pretty much turning this end of the building into one big open space. Uh, we've yet to do all of that, as you can see. But we've started, you know, taking doors off walls and uh, disconnecting things. The old dysfunctional alarm system. We'll come down a little bit further and uh, then we have a couple of rooms here which are going to be rented out. This one's uh, yet to be decided upon. Some of the games, another little kitchen area. Come in here and this has already been rented out by one of our members who started setting it up. So a fair bit of space inside building number one. chemistry lab but uh, part of it was still being used as showers and change room and more toilets. There's more toilets back in the, the main building but I figured you guys could do it without seeing them. We'll walk out here. We have another room on here which is going to become the boneyard. Unfortunately I don't have a key for this one at the moment but uh, that's about all there is to it. And then we have kitchen number four. And I'll just Poke the camera up through. Oh, that didn't work. And then we come into the third building. So this is our warehouse building. As you can see, we've got a big awning out here. With lights under it. Quite a nice thing. We had it had the lights turned on. It's like daylight under there when it's going. So we come through here. This is probably going to be our uh, our wood shop. Some old rails on the floor that we've got to get rid of, but it's nicely lit. Lots of sunlight, so it'd be really good for those people who want to do woodworking come through here into uh, what is the electrical shop at the moment. A big buzzing breaker panel that's got to be fixed. But lots of bench space, lots of power points. Uh, there's three phase everywhere. Lots of three phase power, it's wonderful. Uh, this is going to be metalwork. So we have space here for a lathe, a mill, 
nice big pin board already on the wall and a nice metal sheet metal sheet top uh, bench top with uh, space to bolt down a vise and then we come through into the fourth part of this building and we have in here a massively huge area and the big yellow beam that you can see there is our two-ton crane which has come in very handy recently to get this thing in here which I will leave for another time we come around come around so if you look here I'll back right the hell up we have big rolling doors on both sides of the building they need a bit of work but uh, they do both work we've got uh, four by six and a half meters of doors and then beside that is a set of concertinas so this whole area can be opened up and drive in and out the reason why that's important is over here we have a grease pit and it's a full you know climbing under it it's got lights under there and everything there's a little access panel under the water blaster there as you can see so i'll take you out further and we'll walk around the back of this building rented out to another one of our members for his business. He's going to be using it for uh, running his business out of a little office on the side of it. Another big undercover awning area. Unfortunately we're not getting this shed to the right, but uh, that's okay. We come out the back here. So we've got a big hard stand behind that shed that we can use.